Hi, Brian Rada for Red Carpet Report. We're in Hollywood tonight for the Gay Men's Chorus of LA's fifth annual Voice Awards. See you. What's up? How are you tonight? I'm excellent, thank you. I follow you know I follow you on all your social media. Oh, you do? Of course I do. One. <laughs> I don't think I'm the only one. You've got thousands of followers. I'm very lucky. They're very loyal fans. And um, what are you looking forward to most most tonight? Have you been to the Voice Awards before? I have not. I've not. I've gone to some of the events, but I've never been to the actual awards before. So I'm really looking forward to Ross. Yeah. He's really funny. He's very funny. He's had Fran on for uh, the, uh, I think when he did the Tonight Show or something, and and uh, and he sang the Nanny song because that's his favorite um, his favorite theme song. So I'm a big fan already. I love it. I love it. What are you working on now? And anything you can talk about in terms of your professional career? I am directing a play. I am working on a musical for Broadway, very special one, and I'm working on a um, pilot. That's fantastic. Yes. You just you just keep going. Well, you know, I got I got to do it as long as I as long as I'll have me, I'll do it. Wonderful. Who is your favorite LGBTQ singer? I'm asking. These these are the actual voice awards. Who's your favorite gay, lesbian, bisexual, or, or transgendered voice? Well, Ricky Martin for many reasons. And, uh, do you want to give me a few of those reasons? Uh, well, he's got a boyfriend now, so it'll do absolutely no good. Damn. And he was just at my gym. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peter. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful evening. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, give us a like, and in the comments below, tell us who your favorite LGBTQ singer is. I'm just waiting for the rest of my barbershop quartet to show up. They have the hats. Right? Guys, where are they? Guys? Guys? Anyone? No? Bueller? Bueller?